There are two main analogies that get used for power factor. The first is the beer analogy on the left, where a large beer is ordered to quench the thirst of a thirsty individual. The beer has some froth on top that does nothing to quench the individual's thirst. This represents the kvar or reactive power. The beer itself does quench the thirst. This represents the kilowatt or real power. The total contents of the mug, the beer and the froth, represents the KVA or apparent power. The glass must be full of beer with no froth for the person to gain maximum benefit from the glass of beer, but no one likes a beer without some froth. The two errors with this analogy are that the reactive power, or froth in this case, is needed by motors. Some froth is nice too. The other error is that the three parameters are in phase. This is definitely not the case. KVAR is at right angles to the real power, and the angle of apparent power depends on the amount of KVAR. The other analogy is where a cart on a railway track is being towed by a horse, but is off to the side of the railway track. Refer to the figure on the right. The pull directly between the horse and the cart is apparent power, KVA. The effective work being done by the horse is the cart moving down the track, or the real power, kilowatts. The pull at right angles to the track does no effective work, KVAR. The horse would ideally pull the cart directly down the railway track, so the apparent power equals the real power, thus minimising wasted energy. This is by far the better analogy.